and now crossing live to Sweden for the Nobel Prize ceremony. Temperature, pain, touch, and the location and movement of our body, called proprioception. Such information continuously flows from the skin and other deep tissues and connects us with the external and the internal world. It is also essential for tasks that we perform effortlessly and without much thought. For example, when taking a coffee on the go, a flow of information from sensors in legs and arms keep track on their position in space. Sensors in the skin registers the texture, size and shape of the coffee cup, how warm it is, and correct the grip strength to keep a hold on the cup. How physical stimuli such as heat and touch can be registered has fascinated humankind for thousands of years. The French philosopher René Descartes envisioned in the 17th century how this could work, invoking a thread between the skin and the brain. Moving particles of fire on the skin pulled the thread and opened the valve in the brain. During the past century, scientists discovered specialized sensory neurons which have long processes called nerves. The nerves located in, for example, the skin or muscle registers changes in our external and internal environment. There are different types of nerves that detect different kinds of stimuli, such as heat and touch. But how can heat and touch be registered by the nervous system? In some way, the nerves must convert the physical stimuli of heat and touch into a biological signal. Thus, molecular receptors must exist on nerves that detect and convert heat and touch into nerve impulses. The identity of such receptors remained unknown until this year's prize-winning work. Capsaicin, the active component of chili peppers, was an essential tool for one of the awarded discoveries. When we eat a spicy meal with chili peppers, it gives a burning... We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.